As people around the world celebrate Holy Week and Good Friday today, there is one North Texas museum that is dedicated to the Christian faith and one moment in time in the last days of Christ. Our photojournalist Mike Kinney today taking us all to the Christian Arts Museum in Fort Worth. This is the Christian Arts Museum. We have several different displays. We have our paintings that are done by Kenneth Wyatt, also our replica of the Ark of the Covenant. We have our Pazansky eggs. Uh, these were done by a lady in Flower Mound. Uh, then we do have an old scroll written in Hebrew. It's the first three books of the Old Testament. Uh, it's a few hundred years old. And this is our life-size wax interpretation of Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper. The setting for this scene is the city of Jerusalem. It's a very important moment in time. Uh, this, is, this is the time coming up for Passover when Jesus shared a meal with his disciples. Jesus and his 12 disciples are in an upper room on this Thursday night of a most memorable week. And at that table, told his disciples that one of them were going to betray him. The black-haired figure, tightly grasping the money bag in his right hand, is Judas Iscariot, the betrayer. The life-size wax display was commissioned by Mr. and Mrs. William Fleming. Uh, it was done by the Stuberg family. It actually took them 18 months to complete. And eight of those 18 months was just putting the hair into the figures. Uh, there's over 40,000 human hairs in each figure, and they were individually sewn into them by the artist. Within a few hours of the betrayal, Jesus was given a quick mock trial and was crucified. It gives us a, a moment in time when we can look at it and, and kind of imagine being there and being in the room with Jesus and his disciples. We know that Christ is risen. We know that he was crucified uh, and that he was put in the tomb. And then on the third day, he arose. Yet there still radiates from the painting a hint of its original magnificence. What do you hope people get when they come to this museum? We just want them to be inspired. We want them to come to see our different symbols of Christian faith, to view the Last Supper display, hear the recording that goes with it, and to be inspired in their faith. This do in remembrance of me. 2000. Our thanks to our photojournalist Mike Kinney. The creators of the Wax Last Supper made six of those displays, by the way, back in the 1950s. This is one of only two that remain in existence. The Christian Arts Museum is free to tour. Any donations while you're there, go to keep it open for the public.